working and we kind of change formation to be a bit more direct. Yeah. And yeah. which I think is admirable. Yeah. The players and the staff and everyone. Do you like Louisville? Not so much the city, it's more the people around me, which mm -hmm. are, I and I love them. The city is a city and you you feel like I don't I don't know the authentic. Yeah. Yeah. We when I got injured just before we played LA in they with heart all yeah, of them yeah yeah, yeah but well and that's kind of that's the team i followed yeah i decided to return just because i think i'm um, two reasons um one of them is i know it's like it's a weird situation to be in it and i'm very upset and then you know i don't have to explain my feelings my mom died um but i think i think um it wouldn't help me or my mom wouldn't come back if I just laid and cried my eyes out. That I know for sure. That's like pure logic. So I try to be very rational thinking. And secondly, I think I need to be strong for her, you know. She was a very strong woman. And, and I think one thing is talking about being strong. Another thing is, you know, demonstrating. I think that's also my way for her, to honor her. Train. This becomes stronger than the other yes. one because you're literally very intense in the gym. Okay. We tried to survive for a couple of years, didn't really work out, and then at the end, my mom made the decision for us to have a better future, you know, uh, to find uh, rescue somewhere else or find a life somewhere else. Um, and yeah, we were we were transported, as I said, uh, smuggled from one country to the other, and somehow ended up in Denmark. Um, and yeah, it's all due to my mom and her intelligence um, and her, I guess, will to fight and to survive. <laughs> the first time I really got in touch or saw football was in a refugee camp in Denmark. and. This is, when I try to explain it, I always say it's like one of those moments when you get hit by lightning and then everything kind of makes sense. And then you, it's almost everything's happening in slow motion. I saw, I was standing behind a fence and watching some Danish kids playing football. Uh, Danish girls actually, my age, um, around 10, 11 years old. And I don't know, they just look so happy and free. And at that moment, I guess, you know, um, I wanted to be on that field and feel what they were feeling. And I have this thing in me, I think, I guess the fire or obsession. I get obsessed with things that I really need to, you know, achieve or the goals I set myself. I was borrowing good. I'm good. <laughs> no, uh, no, honestly, I think I've always been very athletic. Um, and also when I started playing football, at that point, I was more athletic to the other, than the other kids. Um, but the technical part came later on because I said I was obsessed. And I used to watch videos or watch on TV, you know, your idols, Ronaldo, Nazario, uh, uh, even Slatan. Um, Beckham and you used to see something and you used to just go outside for hours. I could be outside from literally 1 to 12, um, try to figure out how to do something. And then that also, the more you train, the easier things become in general with everything. With football, you can, you can always learn. There's n you're never perfect. There's nothing, there's not going to be a moment you say, oh, I've learned everything because you can always improve something. So for me, my wish is obviously at this, you know, does keep going the right way. You do want that gap to get closer. Uh, you do want more kids around the world to have girls have the access for the game because it is a beautiful game and it, it does, it's not only makes you happy playing, but also it's like a great tool to educate. Um, and, and, and it's a tool to, you know, change your life. And, and I wanted to, every girl around the corner, every corner of the world to have it.
exactly. Yeah, I I actually, but that was during the Euros. I was in Euros. Yes, that's right. But I wasn't in hundred percent.